Good morning, everybody. This is lesson one of the School of Revelation Knowledge. This is lesson one. Listen for those of you who are taking this school. We are going to have ten lessons. We are going to finish this March 31st for ten lessons. Once every week, Wednesdays, every Wednesdays, we are going to go deeper in the school of revelation knowledge. You are welcome. In case you have some friends that need to learn the purpose of life, you can still introduce them. We have one more week to register. You just send your friend to test their email to my email, revpofakunle at gmail.com. Then they are in. You are welcome. Our slogan for this school is, greater is he that is in me. Say that, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. That is First John 4.4. 4. Fear is in the world, but God that is in you. Is more than fear. Are you listening to me? Untimely death is in the world. But God that is in you is greater than untimely death. Disease is in the world. But God that is in you is greater than disease. So I want to say it again. It's going to be our slogan for this school. Greater, say that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. In today's lesson, lesson one, we are going to be learning what are the differences between the Old Testament law and the New Testament grace. Go be powerful. I often say that. Find something to write on. And let us go to the presence of God in prayer. Father, we just want to thank you for another day, another opportunity to teach and preach your word to your precious people. The word of God says the entrance of your word gives light. I pray that light will permit home, heart, in the name of Jesus, in the nation of the world. Say amen. This lesson one, we are going to have 10 lessons. We are going to be dealing with why am I here? <laughs> why am I here? That is the question of purpose. Why am I here? That is the question of purpose. Listen, there are so many, many answers to this question. But in this school of revelation knowledge, we're going to be revealing to you two kinds of knowledge. Two kinds of knowledge. The first one, the knowledge that comes to us through senses. We call it sense realm knowledge. What you learn in school, what you learn in the experience of life. And we come to you from outside, to your Hey, to your mind, call the sense realm knowledge. But revelation knowledge is not learn. It's the knowledge that comes to you in your spirit. In your spirit. That one is designed, you design that in your spirit. The thing that you know, but you don't know how you know it. But you know that you know it. I call it the knowing of the heart, not the knowing of the head. That is called revelation knowledge. I want you to get ready. Praise the Lord. Listen to me. Why am I here? Is the question of purpose. Listen. If purpose is not known, then life becomes experiment. If purpose is not known, life becomes 
experiment. And frustration can come in. It's very important for you and I to know why we are here. If purpose is not known, instead of you to solve problem in this world, you become part of the problem. And that is not your portion. See that? That is not my portion. Purpose is very important. Listen, if purpose is not known, listen, obstacles become dead end. Little disappointment will bring depression. You'll be discouraged easy because you don't know your purpose. That is why God prompted me to start this school. Amen, somebody. You know, when David was questioned by his brother, they said, why are you here? Say, you are nosy. Listen, David answered with purpose. When his motive was questioned, he answered them with purpose. I want to read that in the Bible. It's very important. Let's go to the first Samuel chapter 17. First Samuel chapter 17. Verse 28 and 29. First Samuel 17, verse 28 and 29. And Eli, Eli was the eldest eldest senior brother to David. His eldest brother had when he spake unto men. And Eliab's anger was candle against David. And he said, Why comest thou down here? Why? It's question. It's motive what question. Listen. And with whom hast thou left those few sheep in the wilderness? In other words, you belong to the wilderness. It's not supposed to be here. <laughs> Listen to this. He says, I know that pride and the naughtiness of your heart. For thou art come down that my dear, see the battle. In other words, you are here because you are no see. That's what he said to David. Now listen to the answer of David in verse 29. And David said, What I have now done, is there no a cause? Say there is a purpose for me to be here. Did you know how many people you are going to help if you know your purpose? Even the very people that criticize you. David was in the battlefield, sent by his father to go and give his brother in the battlefield food. When he when got there, he saw Goliath. And David was a man of purpose. And his elder brother said, You are nobody. You are a no see. You belong to the wilderness. You know, but David knew his purpose. He said, I have a purpose. Listen, if you don't know your purpose, those tickles become dead end. If you don't know your purpose, you'll be touchy. You'll be fleshy. You answer people defensively. Can you imagine? David became king by solving that problem. He took the head of Goliath down. What are you facing in your life now? That obstacles can become a stepping stone to your next level if you know your purpose. That is why you are in this school, to know your purpose. David conquered that Goliath. And all Israelites were rejoicing. You know how many people can be blessed if you know your purpose? Are you be disappointed with very people that you are going, you are sent to help? Yes, it's easily if you don't know your purpose. That is why you are in this school. Disappointment will come. I'm not a preacher of doom, but you are in the world that is not perfect. But when you know your purpose, God can bring appointment from your disappointment. Mm. I'm telling you. And this cannot be learned by sense realm knowledge. Logic 
is enemy of faith. You know, by the grace of God, I'm a pastor here in Rhode Island, U.S. Never in my administration, by the grace of God, I never levy anybody for money. You know why? Because we always say that in our country that fingers are not equal. The person that cannot pay a dime today when there's a project to do, they can be able to pay 10000 next year. Why you level people equally? I don't do that. Never. Are you, I'm not saying I'm not saying practice that, but by the time you finish this course, blessing will seek you. Amen. I'm telling you, preservation will seek you. What you need to know is your purpose. Praise God. Listen, if you have every Christian, you, know, you ask them, what is your purpose? You know, some people say, my purpose is to win souls. Oh, we need that now. We need so many people to win souls because people are dying, going to hell all the time. Jesus said, if you are not gathering for me, you are scattering. We need to do that. Now, some people say, I'm here to learn Greek and Hebrew, to be deep in the world. Oh, that's very good. That's very good. In fact, resolution that most people make this year cannot be accomplished without the knowledge of God. Jesus said, without me, you can't do it. John 15, 5. You need God in your endeavor. Whatever you go through, you need God. And some people say, well, I want to be blessed so I can bless others. Oh, this is great. All those Question and answers are very correct. In this school, we are going to learn more of the questions that people have answer, but they are incomplete. You hear me? Those answers to those questions, to that question, are correct, but they are incomplete. You say why? I will tell you. In the garden, there is no soul to be won. In the garden, in the garden, the beginning, there is no need to be met. Everything has been provided. In the garden, in the beginning, God is with them, talking to them. So, winning souls, blessing order, going deep are the Products, by product of purpose. If you don't know your purpose, you can get frustrated easily by helping people. If you don't know your purpose, are you listening to me? Then you won't be able to be creative. A man of, the, a man of purpose cannot be stopped by problem. Man of purpose. Cannot be stopped by problem. So I go deep again. Revelation knowledge. I said earlier, there's two kinds of knowledge. I pray today. After today, you will not settle for less. Say that I will not settle for less. Say it one more time. I will not settle for less. I'm telling you. So many people will be benefit from you if you know your purpose. But you have to know the difference between revelation knowledge and sense knowledge. Now let's go to First Corinthians chapter two, verse fourteen. First Corinthians chapter two, verse fourteen says, "But the natural man, the natural man, receiveth not the things of the spirit of God." The logic man, the man with senses that just always, always rational things. That is why logic is enemy of faith. You need your logic to deal with people, but when you are dealing with God, you need revelation on it. Is it the natural man, man with logic? Hmm? Say, cannot receive anything from God 
Listen, for their foolishness unto him, neither can he know them because they are spiritually designed. I told you, revelation knowledge is by designing. Sense knowledge is by learning. <laughs> Praise God. And yet a lot of people are in the church in the pulpit, preaching, teaching the word of God with only sense knowledge. You get confused what is going on in the world. Instead of you to be part of solution, you will be part of the problem. That is not your portion. By the time we finish this course, your family will celebrate you because you'll be the answer to their problem. I promise you, by the authority of the word of God, we're going deeper in the word of God. So in order for us to know our purpose, let me just take you from the beginning. The word beginning means Genesis, the Genesis of the world. I'm going to read it from Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Can I just say this one with you, students, if you are there? Say, whatever God did not put in my body, say that whatever God did not put in my body must disappear now in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Someone receive that. Greater is he that is in you, that panic, that disease, that lack that is in the world. I pray this with all my heart, that blessing of God will look at you. Hallelujah. Said, since then, no, he said, you can't know, can't understand the thing of God. You cannot. Let's go to the word of God again before we go to Genesis. Let's go to 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 3. Verse 7 and 8. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 7 and 9 says, Listen, but if the ministration of death, you know what is coming on death? The law of Moses. It, because the day that the law came down, 3,000 people died. Say, so if the ministration of death written and engraving in stone, listen to me, listen to me was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not steadfast behold the face of Moses for the glory of his continent, which glory was to, to be done away. I will tell you the reason for that. When Moses was coming from the mountain, when he, when he heard the stone, the, the stone of the Lord, he said, nobody can look his face. It's full of glory. And the word of God said, those glory is fading away. Why? That's why you are in the school. Listen, last one, verse 8. He said, How shall the ministration of the Spirit be rather glorious? Now, listen, the New Testament is a ministration of the Spirit. It's a ministration of the Spirit. It's more glorious than. Old Testament law. Why? Because law guide us. Laws guide all those ten instructions or commandments is there to guide us. But grace inspire us on the inside. It gives you ability to do God's will. So inspiration comes from the spirit. That is why by the time we finish school, you can't say, I can't do it. What do you mean you can't do it? You can't do what? Under this revelation knowledge, you can't do what? I don't you can't you say that in your mouth again after we finish this school. Because God will reside in you. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit is signing you now. You say you remember the slogan for this school, greater is he. That is in you than he that is in the world. Listen to what Daniel said. Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. Daniel 11, 32 says, The people who know their God, I'm reading from Amplified Bible, the people who know their God shall prove themselves strong and shall stand firm and do export for God. You don't know, know their God, me. 
Go learn that in this school. Praise God. Now let's go to the book of Genesis. No, Genesis. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Talking about the purpose. Why are you here? The question of purpose. From the original Bible, the test. This is their manual. This is a Bible is a life manual. B I B L E. Basic instruction before leaving the heart. It's Bible. Praise God. Look at what Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. This thing. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our own likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, over the all the earth, and every crippled thing that creepeth upon the earth. Oh, glory be to God. Listen, two things I want to mention here. God's in verse 20, he said, let me make in our own image. Image is a function of identity. Image. It's a function of identity. An identity precedes activities. What you want to do in life, listen, you have to know you are according to God. Image is a function of identity. You can't go far on the outside if you are sitting down on the inside. So many people are trying to do things in churches in the world today. But they don't know whom God said they are. Now God said, after our own likeness, in that verse 20, likeness is a function of character. It's a likeness is a function of character. A lot of people spend their lifetime to build empire. But because they don't understand these two concepts, they destroy when they build for almost 40 years. They destroy it within 40 minutes. Your talent will expose you. Your talent will allow you to go far. But your character will sustain you. Will be the leg over your life. So my time has gone because I don't want to teach more than half an hour. So you can think about that. So next Wednesday, we are going deeper for why God sends you here. In the beginning, no lack. So it can't just be a blessing to others alone. In the beginning, the garden, there is no soul to be won. It can't just be to win souls alone. Are you hearing me? In the garden, there's, all, there's nothing like God is far. No, go deep. No, 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 no. God is right there. So all those things, winning souls, go deep, be a blessing. A result of only man. Oh, it's going to be so powerful. It's going to be so, so powerful. And lesson two, I'm going to be telling you three kinds of love. In lesson two. Why am I here? I want to pray for you. My prayer before we open this class is that you will not settle for less. You'll be so loaded that you cannot be avoided. <laughs> Your life is not a mistake. No. Every mistake you are making in the past, when we go more deep with this class, you will know that that mistake, God can use that to your own benefit. Because in God, are you listening to me? In God, there's no failure. Tell others to join me. That one more, only one week to register. I want to pray for you. In case you don't know the Lord, say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Say that. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Say amen. It is done. I want to pray for you. I release the anointing in this world upon you now. Your life, your family, your people, your circle of influence. Will not be the same no more. You'll be a delight to know. This year of all possibility and year of advancement it shall be for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For those of you who are registered, 
if you check your link before end of today, you're going to see your link there and the question to answer. You have from today till Saturday to answer that question. It can take you only 15 minutes to answer. The next class, lesson two, is next week, Wednesday. Next week, Wednesday. I see you in the next class. Next week. God bless you is my prayer. Hallelujah. Remember, Jesus loves you. Amen.